is Nyla and welcome to Acting with Nyla, six and over, or six and over. And today we're, well I'm going to be reading a scene from Much Ado About Nothing and I'm going to say it in an accent, you can repeat it if you want so we can get better at our accent if we're not good and we're just a beginner. Anyways, let's start with a vocal warm-up. Vocal warm-up. Now, for our vocal warm-up, we are going to be singing a song about spaghetti. I'm going to sing it and then you can sing along with me. I like a spaghetti. Tea. I like it with bolognese, I like it with pizza, the one that mama makes, I like the mozzarella on my macaroni, si senor the si senor the si senor the si. Sing along with me. I like a spaghetti, I like it with bolognese, I like it with pizza. The one that mama makes, I like it with mozzarella on my macaroni. Si senor, the si senor, the si senor, the si. Good job. Now we're going to do it in different voices. So, how this one will work is I'll sing it and I'll shout it out, whatever voice I want to do, and then you're going to sing along with me with that voice. So. Let's start off with a very low voice. So ready? One, two, three. I like spaghetti. I like it with bolognese. I like it with pizza. The one that mama makes very high. before Don Pedro and his party arrive. So. Lord Claudio fought well by all accounts, Beatrice remarked to her cousin as they descended the staircase. You took quite a fancy to him last time he was here, didn't you? Just as you took quite a fancy to Lord Benedict, said Hero blushing. Beatrice rolled her eyes. Benedict is the most irritating man I've ever met. Why? said Hero. Because he's as witty as you. Because he thinks he's as witty as me, Beatrice growled. If he lived off his wit, he would die of starvation. Hero and Beatrice reached the courtyard and stood beside Leonardo just as the prince's party rode in through the gates and dismounted. Don Pedro was flanked by Claudio. His brown curls glowed in the sunlight and Benedict, whose mouth wore a customary cynical smile. Behind them came Don John the prince's half-brother, with his servant Boraccio. After embracing Leonardo, Don Pedro stared in wonder at him. You've grown ever so tall while I've been away, he explained. Hero was gazing at Claudio, who was gazing back at her, made no reply. Or have we grown shorter, my lord? quipped Benedict. Perhaps our heavy armour we've been wearing has squashed us. Why are you plattling on, Benedict? No one's listening, Beatrice said sharply. Benedict knocked her with a bow. Ah, Lady Beatrice, as scornful as ever. And that's all I'm going to be reading today from the scene, from one of the scenes of Much Ado About Nothing. Shakespeare play. 
your task. Your daily task is to act out the scene that I showed you and show it to your families. See you next week! So that's all I'm doing today for actually Nyla. And um, don't worry, there'll be another task next week. So you can join that. And see you next week. Bye!